That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about Old, the 14th feature directed by M. Night Shyamalan, which will be released courtesy of Universal July 23rd, 2021. This is his 13th film? 14th. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been around a minute. Okay, the basic story. There's an island with a resort, mm -hmm. and we see people going to the island, to the resort, and there's a part of the beach area that when people go to it, the effects of that area cause them to get old very quickly. Like in a day, they age like 50 years. I think they, they break it down like every half an hour is like a year of life. Kind okay. Of. It's like that portion in Interstellar where they go to that planet. So 48 years in a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we focus on one family, mom, dad, and the two kids. They um, go out to this area of the beach. They're lured out there. We find out that uh, people who go to this area, which there are a number of them, they can't get out. Like when they try to go back, they pass out. Okay. So the gag is... There is a supernatural component, like this beach area does make people get older, but the resort is operated by a pharmaceutical company and they're using this beach area and the acceleration of people's ages to test drugs uh, on different diseases. So not everyone who goes to the resort is being taken to this beach area, but the company is uh, marketing to people with certain diseases to get them to come. So the family we focus on, pretty much everyone on the beach dies except their two kids. And one of the kids, which you can explain later, um, gets a clue that there is an escape route. So the two kids escape, but at this point they've aged to like middle age. They escape, go back to the resort, and they basically expose the entire operation, which gets shut down. Yeah. The end. Basically, a very truncated finale. It's it's kind of like an extended Twilight Zone scenario that um, M. Night Shyamalan can't, can't quite help himself making a little bit cheesy. Uh, it's actually based on a graphic novel, Sandcastle, uh, which I believe is French. Um, yeah, uh, excellent cast. Uh, so the, the central uh, couple that we focus on is Vicky Creeps uh, of Phantom Thread. She was just in Cannes with two films uh, recently with Bergman Island and um, Hold Me Close, um, or Hold Me Tight. Uh, and she's married to uh, uh, Gael Garcia Bernal, um, Prisha and Guy, and they have a, a, a young son and daughter who are like age six and 11. When the son is a very M. Night Shyamalan precociousness uh, to the max. Uh, they, they're on their way to the resort. We learn that uh, Presha and Guy are uh, kind of on the verge of uh, divorce. She's seeing somebody else that's been instigated by this benign tumor that she has in her stomach. Important. Actually, every spare, there's not a spare moment there's no extraneous information in this film. Everything that um, is happening visually and, and the dialogue is to be referenced uh, later on down the road. Uh, some of that works better than others and it's almost kind of force feeding us clues. Um, so, it's, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, they uh, are told by the uh, head of the resort right away that uh, I don't allow all my guests to go or uh, recommend this this uh, private beach area, but I like you guys which right away, you know, why? Uh, and then they are end up on this uh, shuttle driven by the director himself, uh, Shyamalan, uh, with Rufus Sewell and his trophy wife uh, played by Abby Lee uh, and his older mother, who you know isn't gonna last long, <laughs> of course, and his own like five-year-old daughter. Um, and of course, and when they get to the beach, there's already somebody there um, who ends up being a notable rap artist named Midsize Sedan. Uh, oh. That's his name, played by Aaron Pierre, who is in Underground Railroad. Um, and he's there, like, kind of uh, almost dead behind the eyes and bleeding from the nose. And everything's fine and dandy. Uh, and then uh, the young son uh, fits, runs into this body in the water, and it turns out that's who um, Midsize Sedan was uh, already on the beach with, and he saw her swim away uh, and never came back. But there's, but, so right away there's, they suspect uh, mid-sized sedan had something to do with it. And then everything kind of devolves from there. Uh, and, so, and what's really noticeable is how the kids grow because I think they have three different actors playing all the kids, um, including like Eliza Scanlon and um, Thomas and McKenzie and Alex Wolf all play these kids, uh, all notable actors. Um, and 
uh, it plays on all kinds of Rufus Sewell, who is this uh, surgeon who uh, is suffering from like dementia or Alzheimer's and you can see how uh, he's kind of becoming uh, th like racist tendencies come out because he actually um, stabs um, the rapper to death uh, as he's starting to lose his marbles. Um, there's a one really good scene where the tumor starts growing ex exponentially and they have to cut it out of her because every time somebody cuts you this what's going on in this island your skin uh, heals automatically uh, so they have to like cut her open and quickly like yank this tumor that's growing out. Um, Abby Lee also has a really good uh, death scene. Uh, she has uh, issues with her calcium intake and she's rail thin because uh, she looks like a model and she starts to become hunchbacked uh, and then there's this, this scene in the cave where she's like thrashing around and breaking her bones and as soon as they break they are healing and so she becomes this like gnarled looking creature. Um, also, the two younger children, as they're growing, are hit, hit puberty and have sex, and this girl gets pregnant and has a baby. <laughs> oh, wow. I should have mentioned, I didn't watch this movie. They, uh, guests weren't allowed at the screening. So. Of course, which... Um, but, and ultimately, does... Shyamalan does that thing, kind of the, his Spielbergian influences where we return to this, this the court, the good family uh, of Creeps and Bernal, uh, who come to realize that they do love and care for each other and to live in the moments because the moment is all you have and time you know is killing us all uh so there there's i almost wish it kind of had left off at, at those sentiments rather than have to have this uh denouement where we have to explain exactly what's going on because it to me, it's more interesting not really knowing, or even just giving us a little less of that. There's other. There's also another cu couple uh, played by Ken Long and uh, Nikki Amuka Bird. Uh, she's got epilepsy, uh, which of course comes into play. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I, I think visually it, it does a good job of. Um, there's lots of long, slow pans back and forth, and there's a, a resistance of showing us right away. So lots of shots of characters that are seeing things, and it, it, it makes you anxious to see. And there's a lot of uh, kind of withholding in that way, which I wish uh, Shyamalan also would do uh, narratively as well. Um, but it was shot by uh, Mike Grolakis, who um, has done a lot of genre films like Jordan Peele's Us, and It Follows, uh, Under the Silver Lake, etc. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I was pleasantly surprised because we all know uh, Mr. Shyamalan has had some rocky periods. Um, and ever since, I think, was it The Visit in 2015, he's slowly kind of come back with uh, smaller scale studio productions. What would you give it? Uh, I would give it three out of five. All right. Anything else? No. Bye. Bye. Thank you.